Now, they became in the 70s. They became another, another change in the development of poetry. And it was an exciting change because it was an exciting time. There were people writing poetry all around. I remember that we had two groups in Georgetown and then there was a group in Annandale. Uh, Randall Booty Singh, I think, did some publishing. Cyril Kanai and of course Ruplal Munar were very active as a group in Annandale. But so was Georgetown. There were groups in Georgetown. And I remember as a young man sitting at third, you know, third and light street across the road from where Victor Davson lived. We sat. And at nights, Victor would sit and strum his guitar. tune this guitar and we would sit and drink red wine. Johnny Gard, Mark Matthews. Uh, out of that group that gathered and read poetry and sang um, Janis Joplin and drank Sukwan wine, a group emerged, principal, mostly college boys. Uh, there was John Egar, John Rickford, Mark McQuart, uh, Terence Roberts, and a few others. And they formed a group called Expressions. And they published uh, little volumes of their poetry. Expressions 1, Expressions 2, Expressions 3. I saw up to Expressions 4. Now. This was a very important development. I had never seen or heard of people like poets gathering together and sharing work and publishing work and printing work because writing is most times a very solitary job. But they did. And tonight, we're not going to touch any of their poems. That's the one set of poems that eluded me. I mean, I copied them and I had to leave them because I forgot them, to be truthful. But another group, a little different from expressions arose, a little more revolutionary, a little more stronger language, a little more fiery rhetoric. And that group was a group called Pavements. Um, Seated here with us this afternoon is one, our, um, is one of the members of Pavement, uh, Mr. Malcolm DePretis. Malcolm, do you mind? Yes, Malcolm DePretis. And in that group, you had people like Ernest Perry, Vincent Bourne, Sidney Benjamin, K. Ramon, Sonny Lyburn, and of course, Malcolm DePretis. So they published a book called The First Ball. And their second publication was Halla, Halla Hard, a copy of which we have here, compliments of Malcolm. Um, you see, in those days, we didn't have the opportunity to do offset printing and so on. So what we had to do, if we wanted to get our work out, what we had to do was to use guest of fax or before guest of fax, guest techno machines and so on. As a matter of fact, um, my poems were not typed by myself. My very first poems were typed by Mrs. Strutz's daughter. And yes, at, she was age 14 at the time, going to school, came and took the poems and typed them. 
So we had to resort to a whole lot of other resources than what people would normally use right now. Anyhow, let me share with you. Let me share with you. A poem called Companion in Misery. And Companion in Misery is one of the poems written by Malcolm de Pretis and published in Halahad. Walking in the street, walking aimlessly, my heart burdened with my loss, my soul heavy in misery. I passed a drunkard, my brother in humanity, my brother in misery. The pavements were a group that concentrated on expressing the kind of problems that people in the society had, the kind of, of, of pressure that came down in the society at the, at the time. And here's another one. I think this one is by K. Ramon, At the Corner. Where is your light man? What's your name? Now, you'll recognize this, this kind of behavior. Where is your light man? What's your name? What's your address? Choke and rob? Police, police, thief, thief. You there. Where is your light? What's your address? Murder, murder, help, help. Police, police, you there. Where is your light? Stand in the corner. What's your address? Oh God, I'm going dead. The man got a knife, he's going to slaughter me. Police, police, you there. Where is your light? Do you don't have bricks? I'm going to charge you for riding up the one way. Stand in the corner. What's your address? Somebody shouting out, somebody shouting out for murder, and the police, what's your address? So that's a further development along the line of poetry. <laughs>